And uh, so I just wanted to demonstrate um, a teaching tool that I used. I was asked to speak at the United Church uh, in uh, Ottawa. And they said, we want you to speak about truth and reconciliation. We want to get on board. I said, that's really great. I'm really happy. I said, I can't tell you your truth. You must discover that yourself. But I can talk a little bit about reconciliation. So I developed uh, what I call a reconciliation blanket. And it will refer to the history of what went down here in Canada. At the very top, you will see uh, for all First Nations people, we have grandfather teachings. And so when I was first introduced to the Seven Valleys, I thought, there they are again, number seven. And uh, so that's respect, honesty, humility, love, wisdom, truth, and honesty. Did I already say honesty? Humility. And these are all associated, of course, with animals. And those are still here. These teachings that um, are at the foundation of every society, every First Nations society. These are the ground um, foundational principles. And so I'll just give you a very quick overview of the piece. Of course, these top tassels here, you know, they came to this place. They said, nobody lives here, and this is free land. <laughs> So they arrived here, so that's what the white tassels represent that. And there was a bit of blood that was spilled, that's why I put the red around uh, each of these white tassels. So this is uh, the newcomers, my uh, brothers from across, brothers and sisters from across the, the ocean, they arrived here. And when they arrived here, around in the bushes, waiting for these people to come, were my ancestors. Uh, and I've tied a little black, uh, little black piece of wool around each of these red, and that represents that there was a lot of death at the beginning. Peoples uh, actually were inflicted with disease so that they'd have less numbers. But uh, that's, that's part of the story. And so this next period here, this is the period where People were subjected to insult for their knowledge. They weren't given their rightful place. Land was taken away. They were put on small parcels in land, um, were only allowed to hunt in that land, and it was usually not good land for hunting, etc. So I call this this period here is the the black, the black time, the black period. And but around each of those little tassels of black is a little ray of light because we always kept our spirit. People, despite the fact that they outlawed Sundance, they outlawed potlatch, they outlawed language. Can you imagine uh, you're not allowed to speak with the language that really informs a clear thinking? You couldn't speak the language. But despite that, they always uh, held tightly to their spiritual roots. So that's what that little yellow light. So now we're moving to here. In this last, I would say, probably since the establishment of uh, the National Spiritual Assembly of Canada in 1940s, this is when we started moving into here. And the first uh, representative of the First Nations people of Canada was elected to that esteemed body. Mr. Anaquat. And that's when this started happening. That we started to move into that world of light, of moving past the darkness, starting to acknowledge that we are good people. We've never harmed anybody. We never asked for this. And we want the best, as you all do, as we all do in the world, we want the best for our children. We want to be in good health. We want to be part of our economic and social development. All of these things that you want. Everybody, every person in the world wants the goodness. And that's the period that we're in. And with the teachings of Baha'u'llah, and there's seven laid down 
down to here, because that's an expansion of those seven teachings, which are only foundational. But Baha'u'llah has given us so more, so much more through the Kitabi Akdas. So this is when we'll all be dancing together here. <laughs> and so that's the reconciliation blanket, and it represents the four nations of the world. And it's just a simple explanation, but this uh, to me is how I use it and I in serving to educate others about what's gone down and how much work we have to do. And the fact that it's a blanket, it keeps me warm. <laughs> Thank you.